hello guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here you're welcome and i hope you all are doing well so for today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i watch my synthetic wig okay so with that said let's jump right into the video so to start i'm going ahead to brush the hair using a comb to brush through the hair to make sure there is no uh, freeze on tangle so i'm basically going ahead to detangle the wig so if the if it's the kind of wig you can comb you can go ahead and comb it to detangle the hair or and if it's the kind of wig that you need to finger detangle they need to go ahead and finger detangle the hair or the wig for the next step okay so right here i'm going ahead to pour in a bucket of warm water into a container so you can do this on your bathtub or a wide or big basin okay so next right now i'm going ahead to put in some shampoo you can use a regular uh, hair shampoo it doesn't have to be a special shampoo but if you have a synthetic uh, a wig shampoo you can go ahead and use that but for me i'm using a regular um shampoo for the process so after mixing the, the shampoo into the water and right here i'm going ahead to dip the wig into the water making sure that the wig is completely covered and soaked in the water so you, you can let this soak for about five to six minutes before moving on to the next step so next right now i'm gonna hate to run my fingers through it to walk the shampoo water through the hair so if you have any like gel or glue on the lace then you need to let it soak for a little bit more for like 10 minutes 10 to 15 minutes so once the wig is done soaking then you can move on to the next part which is washing of the makeup or gel or glue that you might have on the lace part of the wig so when i was making this wig the lace part of the wig i applied condition uh, concealer on the middle part so right now i'm going ahead to wash off that concealer by rotating my fingers washing off the uh, concealer so you can just gently wash off the makeup gel by rotating like doing in a circular motion and don't screw up the wig okay you don't want to screw up the lace part of the wig using your fingers using your fingernails so you only want to use your tip your fingertip not your nails to gently wash off the makeup from the lace part of the wig so you have to be very gentle when washing the wig don't be rough on the lace part of the wig so gently wash off any makeup or gel on it So after washing of the concealer right here, I'm going to let the wig soak in the water for 30 minutes. Okay. So right now, I just going, right now I'm going ahead to put the cover on top. So this will help to build up uh, the steam on the hair. So just going to put that on top and I'm going to let it sit for 30 minutes. So if the container you are using doesn't have a cover, that's okay. You can still let the wig soak for 30 minutes in the water without the cover. So the cover kind of have to seal in whatever steam that the warm water produces. Here's how the wig is looking clean 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 and clean okay so next right now i'm going ahead to squeeze out some of the water so that way i can rinse out the shampoo from the hair so after removing the wig from the shampoo water i went ahead and rinsed out the shampoo from the wig off camera so for the next step right here i'm going ahead to put some conditioner regular conditioner into the the um the container and next i'm pouring in hot 
water to help dissolve the conditioner first before going ahead to add in the warm water so right here i'm going in with a bucket of warm water and i'm adding that to the um into the container and making sure that the water is warm and not hot so you want to make sure it's lukewarm and not hot so you want it to be safe enough for you to dip your hand inside the water and not mess with the uh, with the coil or texture okay so right here i'm going ahead to completely dip the wig in the water to make sure it's completely soaked in the water covering the hair so this time i'm going to let it soak for a little longer than before so i'm going back in to put the cover on top so i'm going to let it soak for 45 minutes in the conditioner water okay so i let it soak for 45 minutes so right now i'm going ahead to remove the cover so this time around i'm not going to be rinsing out the conditioner from the hair okay so right here i'm just going ahead to pick up the wig again i'm going to run my fingers through it to kind of walk the water through the hair even though the hair have been like soaking for a few minutes i'm still want to make sure of it <laughs> so yeah so this is how the wig is looking again i will not be rinsing out the conditioner water from the wig so i'm just going to take the wig from the water and i'm going to kind of squeeze out some of the water from the wig so next i'm going to place it on my mannequin so this is the process I use to make sure that my satated wig are soft. Like so, yeah, this is how I make sure of that. So in my last video, I kept telling you guys that this hair is soft, like super soft. Okay, so this is the extra process I use in making sure of that. Okay, so like I said, I'm not going to be rinsing the conditioner water out of the hair. So I just took it out of the container put it on top of the mannequin right here the water is currently dripping down into uh, a towel i put on the floor so i'm going to let this sit right here let the water drip down and let it air dry completely overnight so i didn't comb the hair after taking it out of the water i didn't do anything to the hair i just put it on top of the mannequin head and just let the water drip down okay so the next day i brush out the hair and create the baby hair or oh, baby hair and create the beautiful edges on the wig as you can see right here this is a diy wig that i made myself from scratch i have that video already on my channel so if you haven't seen that video i'll put the link in the description box down below if you want to know how i make this wig or how you can make your own diy beautiful looking wig from scratch so go ahead and uh, watch that video all right guys so this is the end of the video this is the end of it the process i hope you find this video helpful i hope you enjoy this video if you do please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. If you already subscribed, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for popping by today. And uh, I'll see you all in my next one.